as it came from Tony, it was open into the back of the hole here, and that was just a hole. So I glued in a piece of pipe that goes through at PVC and fits just over the VersaPlug in the back. So water coming through this port will not go into the hole. I hung the hole by the bow off of my engine hoist and drilled two 40 millimeter holes from the engine bay into the tray area. You can see through these holes the ping pong balls that I fitted through the holes. I made a patch to cover those holes out of quarter inch PVC and used 5200 and four stainless steel screws on each one to make sure that that hole was well sealed. What I did was drilled a, about a 40 millimeter hole on each side and then just started shoving ping pong balls in and shaking the hole and letting them settle down and shove a few more in and it's packed in there pretty tight. That hole probably only filled above the exhaust. I don't think there's any room for any ping pong balls to fit through those gaps inside the hole back there. So I would guess, and judging on the amount that I fit in there. Uh, and then hopefully uh, what came there, uh, what I was able to fit in that hole there, uh, went down all the way into the bottom of the tray. And then shaking it, uh, let them settle a little bit. The ping pong balls I used, are these practice balls. They're a little bit smaller than a competition size and they're made out of plastic. So they're not near as fragile. You can see I can, I can dent it a little bit. Um, so I think they'll, they'll be a little more, uh, they'll last a little longer than the cellulose ones. They're lighter also than the cellulose ones, believe it or not. And they're not flammable and they're cheaper. It cost me about 60 bucks um, for all the ping pong balls that I put in there.